Hey tubers, me again. Hey, uh, I'm gonna show you the machine that I'm working on uh, in a second, but I just I got this camera just balancing up here in order to show you. <clears throat> um, I've already gone through it. I can have uh, cleaned out all the carb, cleaned out the all the jets that I can see and stuff. But like, there's three little holes down underneath the here that uh, need to be cleaned. And since this carburetor, I don't usually have to do that. I think most of you guys know that uh, if you just take in, uh, in your carb kit, you're going to get that, the needle, the spring, the little arm here, the pin. Uh, you'll end up getting uh, the diaphragm, the gasket on this side. And then there's also the, the metering gasket and diaphragm over for this side that's pretty much straightforward you know and that's what you know all you guys will go and replace but you go and you do that and if it still doesn't come out working just right i love these little plastic ones can you see that these little i don't know what they're made out of but man they sure do last a long time anyways uh back to this <clears throat> there's three little pinholes in here they can actually clean out with a wire that's about as big as a uh, the inside of a bread twisty tie if you get the kind of bread that has that little plastic thing on there then you're screwed you'll you'll never be able to work on carburetors <laughs> just kidding so anyways this is what i use this is a self centering punch you can get them from harbor freight and they're a couple bucks or whatever and I'm going to try to hold this without knocking the camera over and show you how I take that that little Welsh plug out of there. Kind of push at an angle on it. Usually about four or five will get this bad boy to pop out of there. And I'm, I don't have to do any banging. See how it's starting to dent that in there a little bit? You can see, and I kind of go at it from a different angle. There it is popped right out okay so that's how you get it out and then see there's those the little holes in there you can uh, shoot your carb cleaner through there you can uh, go go at it with this the little bread twisty tie and you can actually usually if it's clear enough that wire will pop right out up inside this throttle body it's like for like one of one of the idles okay one of the idle jets but anyways so then when you go to put it back together, all you're going to do is you're going to take, you get the Welsh plug. That's this one. Here's the new one. That fits right on there. And then uh, anything that's going to cover the outside of that perfect, like pretty much perfect. A couple of taps as it goes, as it goes down and you take that concaveness out of it, it pushes hard against the sides and it seals it. Back in the old days, before they started putting ethanol in, uh, the gasoline, uh, us older guys, we used to take and put uh, nail polish around that because the gasoline didn't bother the nail polish, and that would make sure that you got a good seal in there. But nowadays, you just like, <clears throat> do the best you can, tap that Welsh plug back in there, good to go. So I just wanted to show you. Don't be afraid of taking that out because now you know what to use in order to get it out nice and easy. You know what? You don't have to put it in a vise. I didn't do any of that stuff. I just kind of held onto it and let the shock of the punch do the work. See that? Just the shock from the punch will do all the work. Gets it out, and then you can take, clean it out, spray it out, and then take and put this back in. So don't be afraid of it, guys. Try it. All right? Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to show you the machine that. That's which one we're working on here. It is, let me take my zoom out. It is this yard machines, whatever it is, 28cc. So it's cool. All right, we'll show it to you guys when it's running here in a little bit. Bro.